Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna cover the biggest hurdles or challenges that you're gonna face as you are learning to become an ethical hacker. And the first thing you're usually going to encounter is that the learning curve is extremely steep. And this usually does one of two things. Either first, you come in ready to learn and excited and you're learning and you're learning and there's so much to learn and you're excited just because you're learning. And once you reach the top of that learning curve and you have learned a lot of the beginner concepts and a lot of the introductory material that you need to understand in the world of ethical hacking. You become discouraged because you're not learning as much and you're not learning as fast because in the beginning, the learning curve is so steep that there's just so much to learn and you can just be so excited. Every day is new material, but when you reach that plateau and you hit that little top, then the learning curve becomes more like this and you're not learning as much as quickly and you can become discouraged with your learning speed. Or on the other side of that, you come into the world of ethical hacking and you encounter this gigantic learning curve and there's just so much material that you just decide that it's not worth even trying. And I think this is really doing yourself a disservice because it is exciting to learn and have that big learning curve there in the beginning. And I I would encourage you just to keep going because eventually you will reach that top. The thing is to just keep going and this is going to be one of the biggest challenges that you will face in learning to become an ethical hacker. The second challenge that you're going to face that is really one that is going to be a large challenge for you is usually when somebody decides to learn to become a programmer or decides to become an ethical hacker, you are learning all alone. You don't have any friends who are interested in becoming hackers. You don't have any friends who know how to code and you're trying to figure all of this out on your own and this can be really really challenging for you because every hurdle you face and every challenge you come in contact with is one that you're doing alone and there's no one there to support you and you have to figure everything out on your own there's no help from anyone else and it really can be a struggle not having anyone to talk to or no support person or support group as you are learning and this can be discouraging and it is going to be a challenge just to be aware of as you enter into this world. I am actually hoping to solve this problem. I'm currently working on a web application with a bunch of different learning paths and courses you can take depending on what you're interested in. And then I'm also working on setting up a discord with different channels that can help you along the way. So if you're stuck on Windows Privilege Escalation, you can join that channel and have a support group there for you who can help you if you get stuck within any kind of exploit or you just have any kind of questions. And I'm hoping to solve the support problem because I know this is a really big issue within the world of cybersecurity. And I'm hoping to launch this by August 10th, maybe a little sooner. So if you would like, you can subscribe and stick around and I'll let you know when the web application will be live and the Discord is up and you can join and become a member. And so that is the purpose of the Discord and the Learning Path web application that I'm currently working on. So I hope that will solve the problem for you so you no longer feel alone and you have encouragement and a community to come to to help you as you are on this journey. So if you are feeling alone, just know that we are here and it is coming and you will have support in the very near future. So that would be number two, having a community and a clear learning path. So number three is helping you know that you are actually progressing and that there is actual progress happening within your study. And the way I recommend you go about tracking this is to keep a journal of the things you're learning right now. So write down the exploits that you may be struggling with or maybe there's some kind of code that you're having a problem reading and understanding. I would recommend writing this down, writing down the exploits and just taking notes of what you are going over and then after about a month or so, go back and reread those notes and they will seem very elementary to you and it'll all seem really simple and you will be surprised that you ever even struggled with this because if you don't take these notes and you don't go back and look over the things you were once learning, you'll always feel like it's not getting easier because really what happens is when you learn something, you usually don't go back to it unless you need it and then you don't know there's any progression happening. If you don't go back and look at the progression of where you were a month ago, you can become really discouraged and so one way to stay encouraged is to take notes and then look back over them and realize that you actually are learning things and it is becoming easier and making more sense as you go along. So these are three of the biggest challenges I think you'll face and I'm really trying to come up with a community and a learning path to solve these problems. 
So if you're interested in that sort of information, then you can like and subscribe. I also just created a Twitter account and you can find it down in the description and I will try to keep you posted on what is happening. Thanks for watching.